Hello guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to remove a green screen in Photoshop. And I'm going to show you two ways to do it. One where you've got a perfectly lit green screen and one where you haven't, which is the normal thing that happens. Hello guys, I'm Mark Newton from the School of Photography and you can find us at theschoolofphotography.com where we teach you the best in photography education. Now in this tutorial I'm going to show you two ways to remove a green screen using Photoshop. We're going to do the first one where you've lit the green screen perfect and then we're going to do the second one where you haven't lit it perfect and that's normally what happens. Okay, let's jump straight into Photoshop. Okay, so here we are in Photoshop and here is the image with a perfectly lit green screen in the background. Now to remove this one is really easy. I'm using an image here of me looking extremely weird and it's because I'm going to put some flames in my hands here and make some fancy kind of image. So that's why I'm looking like I am there there. Now to remove the green screen it's really easy. You go to select color range make sure your fuzziness is round about 40. Click on the background with your eyedropper. And as you can see, that will select the background. If I click on the T-shirt, for instance, you can see it selects the T-shirt or this sort of color of the T-shirt. I click on the background. As you can see, it selects the background. Click OK. And then you want to expand the selection slightly. So I'm going to go to Select. I'm going to go modify, I'm going to go expand, and I'm going to expand it by two pixels. Click OK like that. And then I want to just feather, feather the edge by only about a pixel. And for that, I'm going to use select and mask. So I'm going to go select at the top here, select and mask. And down the bottom here where it says feather, I'm just going to go to about one pixel. Now, if I go like that, you can see what happens. It gives you a really soft edge, but you don't want to do that because it will look unrealistic. So I'm just going to go to only one pixel like that and make sure that your output settings is selection there like that. Click OK. Then you need to turn your background here, your image into a layer. So I'm going to just click on the lock, drag it into the bin. And then you simply hit the backspace like that. Go Control and D to deselect. Press the V tool to select the move. And now I can move that wherever I want to into another image or do what I want with it. And that's the really easy way to do it if your green screen is lit perfectly. So that's how you do it when you've lit the green screen perfectly. But in reality, what happens is that you get a graduation of light on the green screen where it's not lit evenly. You get reflectors in the shots and sometimes you get the reflection back from the green screen hitting the skin. So I'm going to show you how to remove a green screen when you've got all of that in your shot as well. Let's jump into Photoshop again. Now, firstly, what you need to do is crop out all of the stuff that you don't want. So we select the crop tool over here. I'm just going to bring it in here like that. I'm going to bring it in here like that. And let's give myself a bit more space over there. And that's it. Click the tick at the top. And again, we're going to go to select color range. Make sure your fuzziness is around about 40. I'm going to click on the background. And what you can see in this one is it's not selecting it all because it's not one solid color. Now to get around that, you hold down the shift key. If you hold down the shift key, that little plus symbol comes up on your cursor there. And then you just click around the edge of the green screen. You can see it's selecting more around here. So I click down in this corner and it selects that. I can see in the green screen it's not, it's not um, selected this section. So I go over here and I click it and I just keep clicking around until I'm happy that this area is fully selected. Okay, that looks okay. So now I'm just gonna click okay up there. And now it's selected it 
pretty similar to what was in the perfect green screen uh, bit that I did a minute ago. I'm going to expand the selection again like I did before. Select, modify, expand, two pixels. Click OK. I'm going to add a one pixel feather like I did before. Select, select and mask. Take my feather up to one pixel like that. Make sure that your output setting is as a selection. Click OK. OK, guys, before we move on, I just want to tell you that if you want to learn a bit more about photography and Photoshop, come over to the school of photography .com where we have a range of online courses that can help you out. I would also really appreciate it if you could support our channel by liking this video, sharing it with your friends and subscribing. It really helps us out and it enables us to bring you more free tutorials. OK, let's get back onto the tutorial. OK, now you're at this stage, you have to turn your image into a layer again. So you just drag the lock down into the bin and then you hit the backspace. Then I'm going to press Ctrl and D to deselect. And I'm going to zoom in just on my spam, if you like. And this happens. This actually happens quite often. You get this reflection of light, this reflected light back off of the green screen onto your body and also through the hair like that. Now to get rid of that, we can use a hue and saturation adjustment layer. So I'm going to go down to my adjustment layers icon down the bottom here, my layers palette. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to go to hue saturation here. Now what I'm going to do in this section here is I'm going to select greens. So it only affects the greens. Then if you click this eyedropper here and then click over a part of the image where it is green, as you can see here, it's just selecting that specific green screen color that we've used here. And then quite simply, you desaturate it by pulling your saturation slider right down to the bottom. And as you can see, let's just look in this area up here. I'll turn it on and off. That's normal. And that's with the greens desaturated like that. So it really, really does help out and take that green away. Then I'm going to shut this down here at the top. And then what you need to do is merge these two layers together. So if you hold down the shift key and click on the layer below, so you've got both layers selected, right click and then go to merge layers like that. And then let's zoom out again, control zero for full screen. Then you use your move tool, press the V button, the V key to get your move tool up. And then again, now I can move that to wherever I want it to be. Okay, that's it guys. That's how to remove a green screen using Photoshop. I really hope that this tutorial helps you out. If it did, don't forget to like, share the video, subscribe to our channel. Really, really helps us out. Come over to the school of photography.com if you want to learn more about photography and Photoshop. And don't forget to join us on social media. We've got a really good Facebook page and Instagram feed. Come and see us over there and get involved with learning photographers just like yourselves. Thanks for watching and remember, learn more at the School of Photography.